Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm looking at a new pen from Moonman. It is the Moonman T1. Now this is a fairly interesting pen. It's not a hugely expensive pen. The price will differ depending on where you buy it from. I got this from eBay and it didn't cost me a huge amount and certainly uh, a lot less than a lot of other Moonman models, which is nice. It's just a, a, a anodized aluminium sort of um, cap and piston turning knob as well as some of the mechanism and then acrylic and then the same anodized aluminium uh, grip section. It comes with a sort of standard number six size nib, uh, what it looks to be. Uh, this is just the first impressions. I haven't had a chance to sort of really get to know this. I just wanted to show it and show what uh, the, uh, the pen's all about. So as you can see, it is a piston filling pen uh, and that makes it quite interesting. There are certain design elements of this pen that uh, certainly do link up with a number of other pens on the market. But at this price point and uh, with some of these elements combined, it certainly puts it in an interesting place. Um, now, obviously, if there were more nib options available and things like that, you know, there, there would be an increased appeal. But there are a few different colours. There's a red and a green and things like that, as well as this sort of graphite grey, which really appeals to me. Um, I've already inked it up and I've got it inked with uh, Copper Noir from Monteverde, which I'll just quickly show you here, just out of interest sake. That is Monteverde Copper Noir. Um, I'm going to do a quick writing sample with this pen in just a second, but I thought I'd just walk you through a couple of elements of it. So that is the branding on the pen, Moon Man, uh, there on the cap. It is a faceted cap with a sort of a the logo there in the top, smooth sort of bottomed uh, piston turning knob, which is quite smooth. Obviously, I can't operate it right now, but the idea is that you submerge the nib in ink and you turn the knob and the piston goes up and down, drawing ink into the barrel of the pen, which gives it a lovely ink capacity as well, much more than the standard sort of converter. Um, and it's a nice addition to the Moon Man lineup. Moon Man have made a lot of acrylic pens recently. Um, the M series, for instance, you know, M100 through to 600, things like that. Uh, it's also made things like the C1, which is a more sort of plain acrylic uh, clear pen. Uh, but this is a nice sort of combination of a few different elements from certain uh, Moon Man pens. Let's look at it firstly in comparison to a couple of things. So. The first absolute sort of size comparison is the Lamy Safari. So you can see there, it lines up fairly well. Lamy Safari is about 140 millimeters, so this will be about the same. Um, it's a little girthier, uh, and it has a much sort of more, it doesn't have that sort of triangular grip section, of course, that the Lamy has. A pen that I think it's comparable to in terms of some design elements, of course, is the uh, Kaweco Sport. Um, with this sort of same sort of uh, steel finial uh, top there and then the faceted, faceted uh, cap um, including the same sort of cut of the facets. Um, like it's just taken design elements from certain pens like the I think the the piston filling mechanism is you know you know much to certain Twisby pens for instance but a pen I like it uh, in comparison to for not that it's copied this of course but just in comparison is the um, the brass pen from Fine Writing International. So the reason I like this is, these as comparisons is because they've both got these sort of faceted caps, plain acrylic bodies, um, the same metal sections on the pen as the rest of the, the pen, uh, the furniture, uh, and then these sort of metal um, end caps. In this case, it's a piston turning knob. In this case, it's just a, an end cap because this is a cartridge converter pen or eyedropperable pen, whereas the Moon Man here is, of course, a piston filler. So this is number six nib. Um, this is the fine, which is the 0 0.5. Um, and you know, it's quite nice. I'm not I, like, I'm not a big fan of Moon Man nibs. Uh, Moon Man pens in general, I think some of them are really lovely. Others leave a little bit to be desired. This one, I really quite like. Let's do a writing sample and see how we go. This is the Moon Man T1. This is 0 0.5. Fine. Steel nib. The ink, as I said, is Monteverde Copper Noir. And the paper here is Clefontaine 90 GSM paper. So if we listen carefully, there is a little bit of feedback on the nib, but it's a fairly pleasant, quite wet, really. Like, that's not a dry writing pen. Um, it's a fairly pleasant writing experience. The nib could certainly be smoothed out. 
Um, I don't think it's particularly fine for a 0.5 either. I think this would stand up alongside um, several European fines. In, in fact, I would imagine, I think this is probably slightly uh, broader than, say, a Lamy fine. But with this incapacity, with this sort of, uh, you know, filling system, and with the general sort of aesthetic uh, of the pen, I actually think this is a really nice addition to the market. I think Rimano have done a really nice job with the design, but oh, as I said, borrowing certain elements from other brands, um, but combining it in a really nice way. And I think it's a really attractive pen. I think it's a really functional pen. Yes, it doesn't have a clip, but with those facets, it's not gonna roll away off your desk. Um, well, it'll roll a little bit, but not, not completely away. Um, but it's a really nice pen. It's a really, at this price point, you know, check it out on eBay and things like that. The price will differ depending on where you're from, of course. But uh, it certainly stands up alongside many other Moonman pens in terms of price and design and all that writing experience is really quite nice as well. So I hope you found this video interesting. I'm um, going to do a full review of this when I have time in the next couple of months. Um, but I thought as a, as a first look at, at the pen and to see what it's about, I thought I'd just sort of jump in and... Uh, Put this little video together thanks for watching and uh get in touch using any of the platforms listed below and you can contact me on instagram or twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed in the description of this video um if you've got products you think i should be looking at or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel get in touch and let's see what we can do in the meantime enjoy your pens enjoy writing and i'll talk to you later